Like yesterday, right? We're playing COD 4. Doug, he never dies. Never fucking dies. So we're playing, right? And then like three hours into the game, he gets sniped. <laughs> sniped. And he goes ballistic. And he's trying to keep his cool. But motherfucker gets spawn frag. Takes my guitar and smashes the shit out of my Xbox. <laughs> Smashed your Xbox? What are you gonna use to train? Like, that's not funny. What do you mean? I'll just call up Bill for another Xbox. Hey Bill, give me an Xbox. Alright. <laughs> What's up guys? Tristan here with another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be talking about what it's like to work with athletes. And I'm gonna touch briefly on how to get sponsored. Now, I made a Instagram post, or an Instagram story, about um, which video I should do, and I received an overwhelming response uh, from people that wanted me to do this video. So here it is, what it's like to work with the Gorilla Mind athletes. So which one of the products was it that you wanted? It's nitric, I want nitric. And if you send me mango peach one more time, I'm gonna have your job, okay? Don't be a little sad kind of, right? Yes, sir, absolutely. We'll get that sent out first thing tomorrow morning. I want you to send it out right now. I want you to go to the postal office and get it sent out tonight, overnight it. I'm leaving to Houston tomorrow and I need that sweet, sweet nitric pump so I can be extra juicy for all the birds tomorrow, all right? Do it now. Absolutely, sir, not a problem. That's what I like to hear. Fucking sad cunt. Now, what are the athletes really like? None of the athletes are actually like that. Most of them don't even really have my phone number. Um, maybe like a select few of them do when they text me and I'll sometimes text them uh, about certain drops or give them like a little bit of an early like update on the drops. None of them are like this. They are all very, very respectful. If they need product from me, I will uh, get back to them as soon as possible. And I usually get it out within the next business day. And none of them ask like that. None of them are like that. They're all very respectful and very good to talk to. And that's one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about as well is like, what is this community like? And how do, how do they treat me? In terms of anything that they want, um, I'm usually there for them. That's what I like. My main job is to, you know, keep the athletes happy, get them the product that they need, you know, facilitate launches, um, notify them about restocks, things like that. I'm always going to send emails out. That's what we do. We send out mass emails to all of the athletes to notify them of upcoming drops, and I'll provide them with certain graphics that they can use for their stories, you know, their posts, anything like that, and. You know, I facilitate a lot of, uh, you know, athlete photos with them. So everything that you see on the Instagram page, um, I'm usually coordinating with them uh, like a week or a few days beforehand to get those photos. And they're really, really good about that. So anybody, I've never been turned down by one of our athletes unless they like forget or something, which is like totally fine. Um, that's why I ask a lot of them to do it. And they're super busy. Uh, they've got their own businesses going on. They're always on social media and they're always making posts. So. Um, it's part of my job to also be like respectful of that like their business and their social media thing comes first and then you know our responsibilities come you know after that in terms of them doing that they've been very good about it and they're always able to get photos from me and a lot of them are really like adamant about doing it they'll even ask me like Tristan like what kind of photos can I get for you like you got any upcoming restocks that I can grab photos for and uh, that's super super helpful because you know I'm in I work from from home I work right here this is where I do all my work so I'm not anywhere near them and we're not like a company like young LA where you know we're in a central area even if I was at the office in Boise uh, where everything all the fulfillment and everything goes down there's not a lot of athletes from that area so it's not like even if I was there I could go out and shoot with some of these like athletes so a lot of them are in you know Texas California places like that some are in uh, Canada as well so I just shoot them an email and uh, within the next day or the day after that they'll have an edited photo for me that looks really really good and it's good to use on our page and you know our newsletters SMS posts Twitter Facebook Instagram all those things and they're very very good at that above and beyond that uh, I also work with a few of the athletes to get different advertisements so like video 
format. I will get them to do different videos. And again, they're really, really good about doing that and they always get back to me with some killer video that I'm able to use for Facebook ads, um, soon to be Snapchat, Snapchat ads, and we're even doing YouTube ads as well. So it's always good to have a big content bank full of video and photo with all of the athletes. Uh, and it's really, really cool to have, you know, that tool at my disposal um, with all of the athletes. Cause that is part of one of their responsibilities is creating and curating content for us um, so that we can use it on our social media platforms and advertisements. Now, have I ever had any bad experiences and uh, with the athletes and this might be something that you guys are wanting to know and maybe specifics about certain athletes of what, they, the, what they've done. Did I not work all week? Five days a week, right? So where the fuck is my money going? And I can't say in particular uh, what a certain athlete has done. Um, and I haven't had any like super bad experiences with any of the athletes. They're always very respectful. Um, and if anything, they might just give feedback. Uh, like for example, if we're running low on inventory, they're wondering, you know, when is everything getting restocked? Or uh, if they aren't notified fast enough, they'll respectfully ask, you know, could we get a little bit more notice or something like that. So it's um, part of our responsibility to, you know, notify them about drops because, you know, you can't just drop something immediately and then have them figure out about it like, from other athletes that are already posting about it. At that point, they're too late, you know? So they wanna be there right as soon as everything drops so that they can make all of their posts. And you know, they have a lot of things going on and they have different schedules, so they wanna be there, they wanna know which time it is so that they can prepare and be awake and ready at those times, which is like 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Times when we usually do all of our drops. This is subject to change, but I just, me and the team have decided that that was like the best time to do it. Uh, a lot of other companies have similar times and it's not, you know, too late for Eastern time and it's not too early for like Pacific Standard Time. So that's always been a very good time for that. Now, do I talk to these guys? Yes. Some of them I do not. Uh, a lot of them kind of just want to do their own thing. If they need product, they'll email me and that's pretty much it. And that's totally fine. Uh, if they want to go and do their own thing and uh, you know, just get product when they need and they're going to do their own plugs and they don't need as much communication with me. There's other athletes that I talk to on a weekly basis when, you know, they might need product or I need to talk to them about getting, you know, photos or advertisements. And then there's some on a daily basis. Uh, oftentimes there's athletes that, you know, I talk to on a regular basis that are just, you know, they want to talk to me or, you know, I want to talk to them. Uh, I know there's one athlete in particular, his name's uh, Babies Is, uh, AKA Caleb. And uh, he's been really cool to me as soon as we, uh, you know, signed him. I'm, I have like my own, he gave me a little, uh, discord sort of section in his discord and he's got a really cool following uh and i really really enjoy his music as well so i talk to him uh relatively frequently over like instagram lives or anything uh so he's been really cool shout out caleb one cool thing in particular was uh when we first signed uh sush aka brandon we first signed him when he wasn't with any other company so gorilla was his first uh sponsor and uh, he had a lot uh, smaller following at the time. And then most of you know, he grew, he grew exponentially over the, over the few uh, a year and a half that he's been with us, which was super awesome to see. I have like total utmost respect for all of our athletes and what they do and you know, how much work they put in. I mean, it's, a, it's an industry where, you know, there isn't really any like instruction manual. Like there's no like books you can read about it. Like if you were gonna start like, you know, if you're a scientist or you're in like physics or anything like that, there's always books and, you know, studies you can read, but, you know, being an influencer is, you know, a hard job because not a lot of people do it. It's not, you know, a regular job. So you kind of have to figure out things on your own. So I have great respect for all of them that do this because, you know, it's not a typical job and it's, it, it takes a lot of different, you know, ideas to continue going and, you know, start monetizing your channels so but yeah it was really cool to see Shush grow into you know the massive influencer that he is now 
and I, I had remembered uh, when we first signed him, like a few weeks after, I remember he was always wearing like flip flops in the gym and I posted a story and he didn't know about me uh, before that. Like he didn't follow me on Instagram or, any, or anything and I tagged him and uh, in a photo where I was like in, in flip flops in the gym and I was like rocking it like sush or something like that. And uh, he messaged me back and he said, dude, I totally thought you were just some old guy. Because it was really funny because, you know, when you get an email from someone from a, uh, a big supplement company, you just assume that I guess it's like an older guy. You don't assume it's like this 24-year-old, you know, relatively jacked kind of guy, you know. So it was it was really funny uh, when he reached out like that. <laughs> well, I reached out to him, but uh, it was really cool. It was really funny at the time. The last thing I want to talk about is how cool the, you know, Gorilla Mind community is with all of our athletes, our customers, the fan base. Like, it's really, really, really cool to see it grow and flourish. And I don't think it's like any other kind of, you know, team. It's got, like, we don't even, we don't have any, like, group chats or anything like that. But the connection between all the athletes and their fans. Uh, and their audiences is unlike any other, you know, team's community. And it kind of like crisscrosses with Young LA a little bit because we have a lot of the similar athletes. But what I've noticed, and some of, I've talked, to, talked about this with a few of the athletes, is that, you know, we have a lot of athletes that probably wouldn't have been considered by, you know, a lot of mainstream, you know, companies like Gymshark, for example. They're very, you know, liberal in that sense where they're trying to you know build an image that's you know very pc is the probably the best way i could put it but with gorilla and young la you know you have your own platform and you can say whatever you want we're not going to like deal with that like you can say whatever you want to a certain extent right we have a lot of there's a lot of controversial uh athletes and stuff but the beautiful thing is like we're not going to judge you based on that you know you can say whatever you want to a degree obviously um and that's your thing you can do what you want and we're not going to like interfere we're not going to do that you know so we've developed this core signed of kind of like edgy sort of like athlete base and it's it's a it's a cool thing to be a part of and i think it, it runs through a lot of our, our customer base too because you know they're all fans of each of all these different athletes and all the athletes are fans of each other and they're all going to like meet each other and they're doing all these meetups uh it's it's really really awesome to see so it's a really cool community to be a part of and i also like to think that you know i'm maybe one of the athletes as well i do commissions and they're not like far off from a lot of the 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 athlete as well so I'm kind of like up there in that little race you know and it's uh it's it's cool to to feel like I'm a part of it and I'm not just like that affiliate manager that's telling you what to do or you know that guy that you just you know ask for product and then he's just giving you product and he's not talking to you you don't have their Instagram or anything it's cool because you can see my journey and I and I'm going on like the same thing as them where you know I'm trying to you know build a community of my own at the same time while I help, you know, run Gorilla Mind and do the uh, athlete management. So the last thing I want to touch on is, you know, how do you get sponsored by Gorilla Mind? And I think a lot of people are going to want to hear, you know, what I would have to say because I have, um, you know, I sometimes go through the affiliate applications, but the best way is to go on to GorillaMind.com and go navigate to the affiliate page and submit an application. So what does it take to be accepted, I guess, is, you know, you have to have, you know, a significant following on like a few different platforms and you have to show that you can, you know, produce sales, you know? You have to show that you can take people from your audience to buy the product. That's essentially it. If you can do, and it's more about how much commission that you can drive. It's not about the following. There's people with, much less following than people with like 200,000 followers, but the 2,000 follower account, 
you know, might make way less in commissions. So it's a lot less about followers. And sometimes followers can correlate, you know, to your commissions, but it's more important that you can actually drive sales. I always say this in my videos is that, you know, I'm not the person you need to be contacting in order to get a sponsorship. I'm probably the last person you want to talk to. And that's because I don't make the final decision when it comes to bringing you on to the team. Submit an application and there's a potential that you might get noticed. And another thing as well is, you know, you gotta think like, if you can't produce sales and then they hire you on, you know, if you don't start producing those sales, they're not gonna be happy with you. And this goes for like any team, like if you're not producing the, the amount of commissions that uh, you should have, then they're not gonna be happy with, you know, what you're doing. So, and that's what I'm conscious of. I just got sponsored by uh, Young LA. Shout out Young LA. You can use my code, Tristan, for 15% off. Casual plug right there. Um, it is really, really nice clothing. Um, but the thing about that is, you know, I'm always a little bit nervous. Like I always want to make sure that I'm getting as many commissions as possible and plugging, um, making YouTube videos about them. And that's so that I can feel like I'm actually of value to them. I'm not just like a leech, you know, going off of them. I want to actually get people to buy their products because I actually do believe in their products the same way I believe in these guys' products, you know? So you got to think of it in that way. Like if you're asking to be a sponsor and you have like a thousand followers, what are you bringing to this company? What are you bringing to these companies that you're asking to get sponsored for? It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like disrespectful in a way because you're asking for something from them yet you're not gonna, you know, give anything back. So it's kind of, you need to build up yourself first to know that you can actually bring value to that company before you start, you know, talking to athlete managers and messaging them and asking for, you know, a sponsorship and asking for free clothes and free supplements before you can actually provide them sales and commissions and actually help that company grow. Because if you can't do that, then there's no point if you even asking or being a, a, an athlete or a sponsor. So anyways, guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe if you enjoy my content, follow me on Instagram for all of the uh, you know daily stuff I do. I try to post on there as much as possible. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.